Son God. Not the Son of God. Son of God in inverted commas. Not the Son of God. But the Son God. You know what it means? You see, you people here, this is the Northern Hemisphere. I come from the South. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan. And you go Fanny Lungo. And we are Fanny Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction, but before we get into the reaction guys, we want to thank everybody who's been subscribing to our channel. And thank you so much for getting us to 7,400. That's good. We're almost getting to 10,000 subscribers. I know we can get there in two days. And yeah, I know I know we can get there in two days. So uh, we want to thank everybody who's been subscribing to our channel. We want to thank everybody uh, who's been giving us reaction. You're also the realest time VP. And uh, also, um, if you're new to this channel, we are Fanny and Jesse, and we do a lot of reaction videos. Any kind of reaction videos, just let us know. We're gonna do it for you. And uh, yeah, any 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 kind, yeah? any kind of reaction videos, we're gonna do it for you. And uh, what else do we do? I think only reactions of this channel, yeah. This yeah, we have another channel which is called Funny and Jesse 2.0, where we you can see all our activities that we do. Probably on our, or probably like uh, you want to see our lifestyle and stuff like that. Yeah. That's where you can go and check out our lifestyle. We're gonna put a link below so that you go and subscribe, or maybe we're gonna pin it on the comment section below so that you subscribe. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction, and this already was suggested by a lot of people. And they said like we should go react to anyway. It's written in Arabic, but we managed to translate it. And um, they it's like we used Google Translate. Yeah, we used Google Translate. You can't do anything that good. Do you know when press was born? Yeah, but then I'm asking, is that the correct translation for this for this thing? It says like uh, when was press born. Exactly. I don't know if it's actually a correct translation. Probably it's the correct translation. I don't know. Probably. But then there's a surprise at the end. Where was Christ born? Surprise. Surprise. So, so is it that Jesus was a surprise? <laughs> no, maybe he wants to tell us the actual day. Probably. I don't know. Anyway. Surprise. Anyway, uh, let's, find out. let's find out when was Jesus born. But according to me, according to me in the Bible, I know that Jesus was born on 25th of December. So let's find out from Amit Dats. So without any further ado, let's get it. We in Islam are made to believe through the lips of the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu that Hazrat Isa alayhi salam, Jesus Christ, was one of the mightiest messengers of God. We believe in his miraculous birth, that without any male intervention he was born. We believe in his many miracles, including those of giving life to the dead by God's permission and of healing those born blind and the lepers by God's permission. We believe. But we are in conflict with regards to his birthday. I was questioned whether we commemorate Christmas. I said, look, we enjoy Christmas holidays. Christmas holidays we enjoy, but we don't commemorate Christmas. If we only knew the date of his birth, we would also celebrate his birthday. Like we said, Milad al-Nabi. We'll have Milad al-Masih. We'll have the birthday of Jesus. But when was he born? They tell us 25th of December. Christmas Day, 25th of December. But he was not born on the 25th of December. Today the Christians have come to realize, the learned men of Christendom, that he was not born on the 25th of December. This 25th of December is the, day, is the date of the birth of the pagan sun gods. Not the son of God. Son of God in inverted commas, not the Son of God, but the Son God. You know what it means? You see, you people here, this is the Northern Hemisphere. I come from the South. This is the Northern Hemisphere. And as winter approaches, December, it gets colder and colder here for you people. And as December 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, the primitive man, he could sense day by day, they can see the sun in the distance. Far away, it's going east to west, further and further away, and it's getting colder and colder. So they personify that, that the devil is eating up the sun. So they start beating tombs, and start offering prayers. That the sun may not be swallowed up, because if it gets swallowed up, it will be finished for good. 
24th of December, the equinox. And now you see the 25th, those primitive people in the northern hemisphere, they could sense the variation in temperature day by day. 25th, they can see the sun coming back into its own. In other words, the sun has now come out supreme. It has not been, in the, the devil didn't swallow up the sun. It's coming back. So that is the date of the birth of the sun god. Sun god, the sun has come back into its own. They, they celebrated Christmas. Birth of, not Jesus Christ, the birth of the sun god, Baal, Horus, Apollo, Astarte. All these were the sun gods worshipped in the Mediterranean region and their birthday was the 25th of December. So when the, the people became Christianized under Constantine, they accepted that birthday of the sun as the birth of the son of God in inverted commas. So it is not the birthday of Jesus. The Quran tells us very very clearly that when Jesus was born, his mother Mary was told, he says, shake the palm leaf, the leaf of the palm leaf, date palm, and it will let fall fresh ripe dates. Means the dates were ripe, ready. You just shake it and shh, the thing will fall. And you can eat and refresh yourself with the rivulet, with the small river running by, refresh yourself. After the birth of the child, she's told that. So, it was midsummer. If the Quran says, that the dates were right, it means midsummer, not midwinter. Palestine is in the northern hemisphere. Your winter and their winter is the same. So you don't have winter in midsummer. Dates in midsummer. So it was midsummer. Then the Bible also says that when Jesus was born, the shepherds were out in the field. Now the shepherd is a fool. If he with his sheep stays out in the open in Palestine, in midwinter, he will freeze to death and his, his, his sheep will freeze to death. That's when the sun is out and then after three days the sun comes out. So, like when Jesus was put in the tomb, when he rose after three days, that was the sun. Do you see confusion right there? You are confusing me just with your statement. There is a lot of confusion, man. Wow. So on 25th, I was really celebrating now. What are we celebrating anyway? What do you mean? But like you said, Christians are aware, so it's nothing new. I've heard this before. But if we are aware, why can't we just change that? We find the, the actual date that when, when Christ was born, instead of us deceiving ourselves, like celebrating it on 25th when in the actual sense it's not even 25th. Cool. Don't you see the dangers of... Where was Jesus born? He said where? Pakistan? Palestine? Palestine. Don't you see the dangers? When it's summer day, it's what Jesus was born guys. in, uh, sorry, Jesus was born in uh, Bethlehem, yeah, Bethlehem. Where is Bethlehem? <laughs> is it in, uh, is it Palestine or Pakistan? Not Pakistan, Pakistan is the other side. Palestine, yeah? Uh, where is ba uh, Bethlehem? Is it in pa Palestine? Probably in Palestine, I don't know. Because Israel was not the same before. Anyway, we don't want to go to that. It's uh, it's confusing, but again, there's some knowledge here what he actually said about uh, the, the Quran doesn't state the actual death, but it gives you some subliminals where it says that. Uh, yeah, it's like subliminal. Like uh, when uh, Mary shook the, the what? The leaves. Palm tree. Yeah, palm tree, and then the deaths uh, fell down. That meant that during that time, when the when the deaths arrived, that's during the summer. You get it. so I think it's it's clearly stated that she was born during summer, according to the dad. 
That's why I'm saying when it's summer in this other country, what season is it in yours? What season is it in mine? Like what, Palestine? That's what I thought. No, I'm saying in Palestine it's yeah. summer, yeah? Uh, is it the same as here too? In my country, yeah, let's say same as here, because probably we share, yeah, they share the same, uh, the same longitude or whatever. So right now it's summer here? Yeah. Summer? No, right there is summer. In my country right now, it's huh? kind of... In my country now, it's kind of winter. It's kind of cold. Again, it's cold. But in the United States, it's not winter. It's summer. Okay. So, where? Yeah, December is also winter anyway. Yeah. So, what do you think? What went wrong? Why, why, why are we getting some... Because the Bible says he was born on the 25th of December. Yeah. The Bible says that. I don't know. I think so. The Bible says that, or Christians say that. Christians say that. Oh, okay. Christians say that he was born. But again, okay. Even if the Bible doesn't say it, why are we celebrating it even on 25th? That's why there's the book and there's, and there's people. Yeah. So you can't say. Maybe, maybe just Christians the they is. decided like, ah man, you know what? Let's put it on 25th. Or maybe the people who control the world were like, let's put it on. There's just too feet. many confusion. There's, there's a little confusion in, 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 within Christians. I don't know why. <laughs> why? What do you think? Why do you think there's a lot of confusion? Is it because we failed to read the Bible and. You think it's just Christianity that has confusion? For me, I feel like. No, okay, it's not only Christianity. But Christianity is. There's so much confusion. I feel it's because of people having different I mean, interpretations. Other things, so it's just Christianity is confusion. No, according uh, according to what I know now, I think Christianity has because how many religions have you studied? Three. It's one thing to watch your video or something. I'd say you've studied them. Okay, anyway, I was just trying to give out a point, but I <laughs> just like how composed he is when he delivers his messages. Yeah. He's really composed and he he's not telling you exactly saying um this is wrong, this is that it's like if you people believe this, why is it that this person was born in such a period of time? So that will make you think think about it. And maybe research. Yeah, true. Anyway guys, if you feel like your reaction to video, the better way to give us a thumbs up and don't forget to go down in our comment section tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction and what you feel about uh, this video over here of the dots. Just let us know in the comment section below. Uh, he gave out some information where, uh, where according to the Quran, like Jesus was, there's no actual death but just giving out some subliminals when Jesus was born and something like that. And I really wanted to know where, where was Jesus born? Was it Bethlehem? And where is Bethlehem located? Is it in Palestine or is it in Israel? Just let us know in the comment section below. And yeah, and the most important thing, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The more you keep on subscribing, the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give us a better, better content. And last one of the least, we're gonna see you in the next video. And peace out.